Welcome to the vlog. It is a very rainy and gloomy day, but I have some stuff to get done. Today I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to go to church. Two things that I have not done in a while. But first up, I need to go shower and do my skincare. I just realized that you're literally hearing the rain, which is ridiculous. But there is nothing to really do about that. As I said, it's a really rainy day. So come spend the day with me. I did my skincare and my eyebrows off camera, so now I'm going to do my makeup really quickly. I think I'm going to go for a really light makeup look. I don't want anything too heavy. It's daytime and it's rainy outside. So I just want to look like fresh sunshine. Wait, I'm popping back in here. I'm thinking like maybe a golden dewy look. I think that is what I'm going for. I feel like I'm just sitting here looking at myself instead of doing my makeup. And time is running out. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do my eye. What do you call this area? <laughs> eyeshadow. I'm actually gonna do my eyeshadow while I'm baking, while my skin is baking, because I really don't want any fallout fall on the wet foundation. <laughs> discuss the fact that I privated a lot of my videos that I initially uploaded onto YouTube and the reason I did this was because I felt like there was no real structure there was like a specific niche that I focused on in my videos it was literally all over the place and I really didn't have like something I loved to see. You know, I think I found my niche. I found what I like doing. I found I found what I like watching and what comes natural, which I think is the key. Because when you're on YouTube you want to really be yourself. Well that's the advice that other YouTubers gave in their videos. So a lot of research and being yourself. That's it. Guys, in no way am I a professional makeup artist at all. Has done like all freaking talking on my skin. If you're hearing that bowl in the background, that is Bella Melisbati. This is always something. I will introduce her in a video soon. She's like a little kid. darker than I was going for but we'll live with it maybe I should not have like dark any creases with sienna or oh, by the way I'm using my soft glam the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I'm like guys you can tell the colors that I always use like clearly I always go for the same look <laughs> so yeah I'm not like the only person who Guys, my palette it needs to be clean at all times. Like I can't do a DC palette. I see some people have like the same palette and the others are well. it's really nasty looking. I cannot be one of those people. As much as I use them, they're all in really good condition. Oh my goodness.
guys from a bit concerned because this look literally is turning off a lot darker than I wanted it to. It's a new lip a bit using this L'Oreal lipstick. It is the collection exclusive by Julian. I assume it's probably Julian Michael or Julian Hoff. I don't know which Julian it is, but it's this really gorgeous pinky nude. And it is called Julian's Nude. This is like a fairly old lipstick, so I don't know if it's still available, but it's really cute. Okay, I love it. While I'm putting on my lipstick, you know what I just thought about? I'm going to have to wear a mask all day. No one is going to see this look. I feel like this look is giving me the stepmom that is your age kind of vibe. But I'm here for it. I am having a serious dilemma. I can't decide which shoes to wear with this outfit. So I guess you guys can tell me which one you're at in the comment section down below. So this is my outfit, a really cute giraffe print top that I got from Benetton. I got it a while ago and my Gucci belt and these ankle crop pants that I got from London clothing company. Really cool Z, really nice material. I feel like the first show I'll try is the heels because I'm not too certain if I really want to use these. This actually looks really good. But I feel like the last time I really wore these, I almost fell and I hit my back. So that's probably why I'm a bit... Maybe not. Ooh. But they do look really cute and elegant. These are the flats. I find the flats look a bit too casual. Plus the tone of the nude is a bit off from the shirt. I feel like this nude is a bit more pinky as opposed to this nude which is more yellow with a kind of olive undertone. Pause the video and let me know which shoe you rather. And I'll tell you which one I rather right before I leave to head out for church. So guys, here's my outfit before I leave home i did go with the heels simply because i rather the tone of the nude as opposed to the flats although the flats is way more comfy and i already made like a slip with these <laughs> like a few seconds ago but yeah i paired it with my michael kors bucket bag which looks so chic with it um yeah my outfit looks elegant i feel comfortable and i'm ready to go to church what i didn't tell you is i'm actually going to church for my boyfriend's brother's graduation service i've never been to one of these so let's see how that goes and i hear that the church is really gorgeous so i'm looking forward to seeing that powder that I set my contour with looks kind of muddy right here. Are you trying to tell me I went out holding what kind of muddy tone on my face? Yikes. I think I'll end this day in my live vlog right here. Thanks for spending the day with me. I think I'll just take off my makeup and get all snuggled up 
I really enjoyed going to the graduation mass earlier today. I would insert some clips. I didn't really get much clips because it was a church service, but it was really fun. The church was really beautiful. Like I literally sat there in the pews looking up at the ceiling because the ceiling, the wood work in the ceiling was fantastic. Like I feel like I missed going to my Catholic churches. So I definitely be looking into going to church more. Before I take off my makeup though, I feel like this was a look and the lip combo I had on earlier today. I really love that. Like I really really loved it and I think that I would be using that lip combo a lot moving forward because it made my lips look as if I had filler in and I don't have any filler. This is like my natural lips. It really enhanced it perfectly and I've nude from L'Oreal Julian Julian's nude amazing highly recommend if it's still available I'm not too sure I'll probably look on Amazon and see if I get it if I do I'll link it below but I've been really obsessed with the lavender scent and I started using this lavender and rosemary makeup wipe remover from Petal Fresh it smells really good guys I haven't worn makeup in a while but my wipe's almost done because my mom keeps using it and I will just use it to wipe my face even when I don't have on makeup. It's that good. Plus I feel like I'm just like obsessed with the scent. I got this from Super Farm, I think. Yeah. I can't really remember the cost, but the next thing highly recommend. It's really effective for taking off makeup. Look at that. Yikes! And one swipe. I feel like I literally just transformed on this video. I went from beauty queen to basic bitch in like. 10 seconds literally i was really trying to avoid having to wash my face because i'm feeling that lazy but this makeup wipe is so lazy because i applied a lot of makeup today which is something i haven't done in a while and my skin feels strange so i feel like i probably need to go do a mask and just chill out for a couple minutes before i get to bed and do like my full skincare routine just to get some good stuff back into my skin right now i would end this video right here i hope you enjoyed spending the day with me see you soon